Hey, it's Jason. Welcome to WordPress Foundations. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the completion of setting up and installing your blog. There are a few different things you're going to need to do, so just follow along and see how this process works. So to start, let's give this blog a title. Since this is the example site, I'm going to just go ahead and put in WordPress Foundations Example Site. Now you're going to want to type in your email address. So I'm going to just type in Jason at enlightenedwebmastery.com. And now you have the option to select whether or not you want your blog to appear in search engines. For this example, I'm going to click no as this is an internal site. It's not going to really contain any value to anyone outside of this course. So once you're finished with this, go ahead and click the Install WordPress button. Right now it's actually installing, and now everything is done. How long did that take? Maybe two or three seconds tops? All right, so what you're going to want to do is highlight and copy this text. This is your password, which will be changing in just a few seconds. So make note the login name is admin, and make sure that you have this, this uh, password copied. If you don't have a copy, that's fine. Uh, they just sent you an email, so all you need to do is just check that, and you should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click the login button. Type in my username, paste in the password, and then click login. And now I'm set up to the dashboard. So what I need to do is just click this little button right here that says, Notice you're using the auto-generated password for your account. Would you like to change it to something you'll remember easier? So click Yes, take me to my profile page. We'll be discussing this page in more detail in the next module. So right here, you're going to want to type in your new password. For this example, I'm just going to type in something with some numbers, like testing1234. Then just type it in again to make sure it's confirmed, and you're good to go. Just click this little Update Profile button, and now everything is changed. So if you log out, you can now log back in by typing in Admin and then the new password, Testing1234, and then click Log In and everything will work. Please note that this password is no longer going to be active on this actual website as it will be changed. This is just walking you through the different settings. So in the next module, we're going to be covering all about the WordPress dashboard. You're going to learn what each of these little options are and what to do. You can rearrange this, highly customize it, and everything. This is your view into the world of WordPress. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and you've seen how things work, and I'll talk to you soon.